Thanks very much. Cheers. So, so yeah, as you know, uh, we we made it. We, we, this was an improvisation. Uh, so we've we've all got together this past week and tried to figure out how to play together. It's been it's been quite a journey. Uh, what do you think? What did you guys think about the journey this week? I think it's been an absolute joy to work with you guys. I think nothing of this would have become what it is today if it wasn't for this collaboration. And well. uh, of course, huge shout out to Patreon for putting us together. Thank yeah, cheers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we didn't have a clue what was going to happen. So <laughs> what you're hearing, like, we've got this little notepad that's sort of got a rough guesstimation of what's going on, but then the rest of it is like... Uh... <laughs> it, I'm going to read the set list here. One, Heinbach, loop, build-up. Two, Cuckoo, piano loops in A minor. <laughs> Hand over to look from no computer. Four, all together, build-up. Yeah, and it all had to be in A minor, because <laughs> I don't know how to play any other keys. <laughs> it continues. Five, piano solo. Six, build up heavier in A minor. Seven, piano chord progression, plus Sam, vocals. That was beautiful, by the way. I don't know whether it was in tune. I'm hoping it was in tune. Eight, Cool and funky. <laughs> I don't know whether we got cool and funky at the end. The end, oh, we did, we, we did, it was all, you just don't know, do you? <laughs> yeah. And then the last one, end. Thin. Oh, we're right there right now. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, at the start of this, we came up with a, a choice of whether we should uh, make songs or keep on making it up and just get used to people making it up. The thing is, is if you, I guess if making songs, I think it would, I don't think we would have been able to get anything done in the time. So it's the best way that we did it was just figuring out how each other has played. Yeah, I totally agree. Is there any questions yeah. about what we're playing up here? We could, you know, make a little short run through. Why don't you start high yeah. back with your run through? I'd be glad to. So I'm playing this uh, little old school instrument from 1967. It's an analog synthesizer made by Honer. And it, yeah, Honer thought, okay, we make these melodicas and we make a whole lot of them, we make a lot of money with them, but you need to innovate. On, so let's do just another harmonica shape thing, but make it a synthesizer. So they made a very small run of these things. You blow into it and there's a balloon that blows up and then there's a light bulb that gets darker to that and that opens the sound. And it can do everything from like these gentle tones to basses. Quite advanced for the time, never hit really the market. The only band I read that used this was the Lovin' Spoonful, which you know from their hit, Summer in the City. So I'm playing this through a tape echo and I'm looping all the time and I got some uh, phasers and of course a ring modulator because I would not be a proper German electronic musician without one. <laughs> and... <laughs> and then I've got this little thing a friend of mine, Peter Blesser, builds in Berlin. Now. Oh. So and this is like a string instrument again, but it's a digital string instrument. Can do chaos and beautiful things. I mainly used it to rain on uh, Cuckoo's piano for this. How do you charge it? Uh, you have to put it into the sun. So by charging it, it's a very eco-friendly instrument. It doesn't charge via better. Sorry, no. it doesn't charge by anything else than the sun. We weren't practicing outside, so it actually ran out of batteries. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been sat around the back all morning, trying to charge up in this really hot temperature today. Uh, this, uh, guys, do, do you want, do you want so, uh, what I've, so I usually tour with a very large machine, but it's really not practical when you have to travel distances. 
it's a bit of a nightmare. There's a big modular synth and it's usually facing that way to face away. So it was a bit of a challenge to figure out what the fudge I should do or bring. So right here is a CR78 Roland. You might have heard it going tuka, 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 tuka. Turn it around. You know that one. Oh, just to get it doing a jam. Let's make it do a jam. Oh, 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 let's go. Oh. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh. Where's, um, ah. Somebody will know this. Playing later, aren't they? Oh, no, I don't know where they did that. I don't know. But um, is it CR78? It's a bit, it's awesome, but we're suddenly realizing that there wasn't as much punch to keep the dynamics going, so I had to bring a bit of a Eurorack which is the first time I've ever actually played these synthesizers in a live setting. But the tiny little, tiny little knobs, but it was quite, it was fun. And then there's a MS-20 over here for the bass. And it was quite, quite nice to hear just the <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. I love this. That's basically it. <laughs> Hello, I'm Cuckoo, and uh, <laughs> uh, the mic is falling off. Let's see. I, sorry. <laughs> I um, I wanted to play the piano so much, so we, we very early on uh, kind of agreed that only oh, okay, let's try to to use the piano, and I was very fortunate to have this beautiful. Yamaha here on stage. So my piano goes to the sound technician. He's making sure it sounds beautiful out in the room. And then I get that beautiful signal back into my pedal here. And I push it to send the sound into my little Zoya box here, which is a multi-purpose, a kind of modular in a box uh, audio device. And what I've done with it is that I made one little loop solution. So let's try it. There's a little loop. And it goes a little wobbly and it's nice. And I can make this loop go on forever if I want to. On. And then I kind of faded out a little bit to, uh, to not take so much presence. And then I turn off the input, turn on the input on my reverb sometimes. Maybe I make the reverb just hang there for all eternity. Take away some of that looping thing. I prepared one more thing, I didn't end up using it today, but there is uh, another kind of fun thing here, which is a granular, granular delay. It's a bit more funky, I can freeze it. And tune it. Be a little bit, like, tiny. Should have used it at the in the funky uh, <laughs> song. <laughs> so that's pretty much the piano, and I like the piano because that's a place where I feel comfortable and I can improvise melodies, and whatever key we end up in, I can kind of get there. But this beauty here, this is a collaboration. Collaboration, yeah, a little bit. I ordered it from a Swedish artist called Love Hultén. And look at this. I'm going to turn it around and hope that it doesn't fall off. <sighs> Almost. Uh, some of you can see it. <laughs> it's uh, an FM synthesizer, a mega FM. And uh, Arturo Keystep, which is a very simple and good, useful keyboard. And a reverb. And together, it could sound like this. 
Or like this. Or like this. Put it all together into one instrument. Thank you. It's uh, it's this beautiful thing happens. It's not three items anymore. It becomes one instrument, and suddenly that reverb becomes like an extension of the instrument instead of just an effect box on the side, which heavily influenced the way I, I approach this. And this here, maybe you can see a little line. <laughs> Cool, oscilloscope. Yeah, it's yeah. It's what I'm playing. Yeah. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for listening. And thank you, Sona and Patreon. And yeah, see you soon again.